Repeat grids are one of the most useful features inside of Adobe XD and today I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get started, covering all of the basics and then I'll share some advanced tips and tricks like how to use .txt files to speed up your workflow for larger projects and more. If you want to skip the basics and go straight to the advanced section, there are timestamps below. Let's not waste any more time and dive straight in. This is an example that we're going to be using from my website. We have a placeholder for a hero image. We have two text blocks and then we have an image carousel section. The repeat grid feature is perfect for parts of your design with repetition. So what I want to do here is I want to have three clickable links directing people to each specific case study. If we zoom in and inspect the layers in the image block, you can see we have four layers, an image placeholder, which is just your basic rectangle. We also have two text layers, a text container, which again is just another rectangle. I have grouped all of these layers together, but you don't need to do this to use the repeat grid feature. It works either way. So that's everything we need for our setup. Let's select our group and then in the top right hand side, select repeat grid. You'll notice a green outline appears around our layers with two handles, one on the right and one at the bottom of the group. If you hover over and select and drag this, you will see an identical copy of our image block has been created. You can drag this across as many times as you'd like to the right and below, but for this example, I only want to do this three times. If your elements are too close together, you can hover over the space in between and click and hold this pink highlighted area and then drag to the left or right. One of the main benefits of using the repeat grid is that when you edit one image block, every change is dynamically carried across to each copy. For example, if I want to remove the border of the text container, all I have to do is click into the group, select the text container and then hide the stroke. You can see it dynamically changes across each element. Say you want to also change the color or size of the text, the same principles apply here too. Every change you make to one element will dynamically carry across. At this point, you might be thinking, what if I want to change the copy within the text layers to be different? Well, this is the exception. So you can grab a new line of copy, paste it into a text block, and you will see none of the other sections change. So I'm going to quickly update all of the text. Now let's take a look at adding in images. I have my three images to the left. If I select one of these, copy it and then click into a section and then paste it. You can see that all three now have the same image, which isn't what we want. At this point, what you could do is select the whole repeat grid, go up to the top right and then select ungroup grid. Then we can manually add in our images. However, any changes to this will no longer follow through and you can't reuse the repeat grid feature once you ungroup it. Before you do this, there is a way to retain the repeat grid while adding specific images to each section. To do this, export your images and save them into a folder. Name the images in the order you want them to be displayed. Select all three of these images and then drag these over to the first image block. You will see all three images have now been added and we have retained our repeat grid. That's it for the basics. Next, we're going to take a look at some different examples of where you would use a repeat grid. And I'm going to show you how to use a .txt file to speed up your workflow. On the right, I have created an Italian shoe brand for the purpose of this demonstration. This is an email design not contained within an artboard. I've grouped all of my sections together and this is what the setup looks like. Now let's say I'm a freelancer and my client wants this email design to be pushed across five different countries and my client is going to provide me with each of the different translations. There are two ways we can do this. I could select all my layers and then copy them over five times or I could select all my layers and then use the repeat grid feature. Rather than copying and pasting the text five times into each of the different text layers, we can use a .txt file to speed up the whole process. The most important thing to remember for this is that every translation needs to follow the same order. My sequence is English, Spanish, French, Polish, and then Japanese. Select all your text and then copy this. Open up any basic text editor. The process is completely the same if you're on Windows. Paste your copy into your text editor. One thing to remember is that each paragraph break is gonna represent a different text layer in XD. 
I'm gonna copy this and then save it as O3 text block dash copy three. If we save this file and then were to use it in XD, it wouldn't work. What we need to do is go into format and then select make plain text. The last thing you need to do is find your file on your desktop and then make sure that you add the extension .txt. Now let's see what happens when we drag this into our text layer. You can see that all of the text is dynamically updated in the exact order that we want it. That's the end of the tutorial. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to show some love and hit the like button below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and have a great day.